Well, you know, I'm James Gilligan. I'm a psychiatrist. Um, I have devoted my life work to trying to learn everything I could about the causes and prevention of violence. Um, I didn't uh, start out with that as my main professional goal. Um, I was interested in going into uh, psychoanalysis where I would be treating people more or less like myself. Uh, I mean, uh, complicated middle class uh, people with the kinds of life conflicts and dilemmas that everybody else has. And, uh, but I was married and had three children and uh, the teaching hospital where I was doing my training uh, in psychiatry at the Harvard Medical School wasn't paying me enough for me to pay the rent and buy the groceries for my family. So I learned I could supplement my salary by spending a day a week doing something called prison psychiatry, which I had never heard of before and had no interest in. Uh, I had been taught up to that point, uh, and I believed that this was the truth, that uh, people who get sent to prisons are uh, repeat criminals who uh, are untreatable, have no motivation to change, no uh, uh, interest in uh, introspection or self-examination, um, that they uh, would not tell me the truth, that they try to manipulate me into uh, trying to get them uh, sent out of the prison early. And um, I expected this to be uh, an exercise in futility and a waste of time and rather boring. But the moment I first set foot in a prison to uh, work with a mental health uh, project there, in, this was in the Massachusetts State Prisons in the US, um, I learned that uh, everything I'd been taught up to that point and that I thought I knew uh, was wrong, and uh, that I had to just start all over again to understand what was leading people to behave in a way that got them sent to prison and what we needed to do if we wanted to uh, make some progress in solving these kinds of problems. 